What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Jasmine Show. It's very special because guess what? Today I am Jasmine, and guess what else? It's the last episode of Jasmine Show. So uh, the first sketch we're gonna watch, um, you know what I'm saying? First sketch we're gonna watch is gonna be a sketch about something funny. I'm gonna tell you everything's gonna happen in the sketch, and then you're gonna watch it, and you're gonna laugh, and then you're gonna come back, and I'm gonna tell you some other stuff. Go ahead, go ahead. This is nice. So, uh, what's your type? What? I mean, like, what's your type? What type of niggas do you like? Oh, okay. Um, well, I don't really have a type. I feel like when you have a type, you end up dating the same person over and over again. Therefore, I ain't got no type. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, yeah, I feel that, I feel that. Well, what about you? Do you have a type? Hell yeah, I got a type. I like them four foot nine because I'm short and I like them light skin, like a yellow bone, like real light skin that she can pass for white. And I like when her hair is all long down her back and she built like a Coca-Cola bottle back in the 50s. I mean, ass on fruit, but the, but the body gotta be natural. And the titties way out here and, and right. you know. But again, that body gotta be natural and she can't wear no makeup and nothing like that. I uh, hate to break it to you, but that's not me, and if you're looking for that, then we should just, like, cut it short here. Oh, no, baby, I'm tired of the same thing. I'm looking for something new. Okay, then. <laughs> so, uh, like, what are your expectations? All I really want is for a man to be 100% completely honest with me, you know? I'm tired of being lied to. I'm tired of all the lies and endless lies about whatever i feel like there is nothing that could possibly grow on lies i need a foundation of honesty and i mean 100 percent honest that means being honest when you don't want to be or being honest when you feel it's gonna hurt me or being honest enough to say that you don't feel comfortable with something that's what i want that's all i ever want that's it you don't want nobody like to get your hair done your feet done your nails done pay all your bills or nothing like that no, none of those things matter to me. All I want is honesty. That's it. I want you to be honest about everything. Dang, well, that's easy shit. I could do that because, you know, I keep it 100. You'll be surprised at how the bare minimum is somehow still too much. That's because them dudes, they ain't men. They boys, you know. You ain't got to worry about me lying to you, baby. I'm going to keep it 100 all day, every day. I ain't going to never lie to you, and I promise you that. Okay? We'll see. You got me fucked up. Hello? Hello? I met some girls and guys. Hello? Hello? That essay put dust who this? What the fuck you mean who was this? You know who it is. It's Jasmine. You like oh, what's up? Asshole. What's up? What's up? That's all you got to say to me is what's up? What, what you mean? Oh, man, you got me fucked up. Them. You got me so f***ed up with drawing to drawing. What happened to our plan? We were supposed to go out on a date. Remember, you said you were on your way. You were pulling up. You were outside. Remember that? What happened to that? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. See, my bad, babe. See, see, I was gonna call you and tell you what happened, but my phone had died. So this is what happened, right? So I was outside, because remember, you heard the horn, right? I was outside, and I remembered that I, I ain't had no gas, so I went to the gas station to get some gas. And then there, there was an oil spill, because you get know how do. And, it, and I slid from the gas station all the way to the freeway, and I ended up on the freeway, and I was driving, I was trying to get off, but I, I spun out, and, and I, got, I, got, I got in a car accident, I had hit the guardrail, right, and then when I got out to check the car, I got hit by a car, babe, can you believe that, I got hit by a car, and the car had guns on the front, and, and I got shot. Right? It was crazy. Mm -hmm. And I meant to tell you what was going on, but I was in the hospital and my phone was dead because, remember, I had got hit by the car and I got shot and I was paralyzed and I was dead, just like my phone, right? I was dead just like my phone, babe. It was crazy. But now, I'm alive, praise Jesus, and I could be on my way to you right now. We can still go. Just do whatever you was doing. I'm about to go to sleep. Fuck you. You don't want to go? Hello? Babe? Ooh. 
Hey, you, welcome back. It's me, Jasmine, again. <laughs> you like that last sketch. I know you did. Because <laughs> I'm Jasmine and I'm funny. Humble. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyways, this next sketch you're going to watch is going to be about some stuff I'm going to do. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm probably going to play a few characters. You know what I mean? Because I'm Jasmine and I'm so good at characters. <laughs> watch the next sketch. Jasmine, Juwan, get in here. I want to talk to y'all. Now y'all two getting at that age and we gonna talk about sex. Now Jasmine, if I ever catch you having sex, if I ever hear about you having sex, being pregnant or any of those things, I'm gonna beat your ass and ooh, Lord, Lord, I promise you if you ever get pregnant, you gonna wish that I aborted you, okay? Cause I'm gonna beat your ass from the rooter to the tooter, okay? You better not ever, 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 ever think about having sex. I don't care how old you get and you the oldest now. I'll be over I don't need that ass no grandkids. I ain't taking care of no grandkids, okay? You and that baby will be out on the streets. That's your ass. Okay? Yes, ma'am. All right, good talk. Wait, Mom. Hmm? Aren't you going to say anything to Jawan? You right. Now, Jawan. Yeah, Mom? Use protection, baby. I won't. <laughs> All right, you go ahead and have fun. Wait, that's it? Don't worry about what I say to him. Worry about yourself and your own ass. Okay. All right. What's up, bro? <sighs> Mom, I got to tell you something. Okay, go ahead and tell me, baby. Well... I got Brianna, Alethea, Taylor, Elise, Salandra, Rwanda, and Princess pregnant. So you telling me I'm gonna be a grandmother? Yeah, you gonna have seven grandkids, ma. Ooh, you gonna get it. You gonna get it. Tell them, mom. Mm-hmm. Oh, congratulations, baby. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, I'm a Thanks, grandmother. Mom. Yes, Lord. You you happy about this? Yes, baby, a child is a blessing. Blessing. Oh, that's some more bullshit. Oh, no, you got me baby talking all that shit about me, and my head is in the books, and his head is in everybody's vagina. I'm over here, you over here talking to me like, do you do you need birth control, or you're the type of insulin to do money? Yeah, nah, nah, nah. You let this nigga up with this dick and everything, and don't, you don't even give a fuck. That's fucked up. Now take your ass to your room till you learn how to talk to people. And if I catch you ever being pregnant, I don't care how old you is, I'ma beat your ass. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you caught me in the middle of doing something random because I'm Jasmine. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that sketch. <laughs> I'm sure it was really funny because I'm me. You know, this next sketch we're gonna do, it's gonna be about a time when some things happen and I'ma tell you about it right now. You'll see it again in a minute. Go ahead, watch that sketch. I gotta finish doing nothing under here. <laughs> Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm great, and uh, could you slate for me, please? Hi, my name is Jasmine Carter. Okay, Jasmine, what are you auditioning for today? I am auditioning for the role of Susan, the lead. Okay, wonderful. Um, I don't know if you have the line, but it is, if you want me, earn me. Okay. And action. If you want me, then... Um, Sorry, can I just stop you really quick? Should I do it again? No, no. Um, actually, while I was looking at you, I realized you fit more of a different role. We have another role okay. as the male person. Um, it is our lead male person uh, and the, the only male person you'll see in the film. So uh, if you could just deliver the line, here's your package. Okay. Okay. And action. Here's your package. Mm, uh, okay. No. no. Could you maybe dig deeper? Okay. Dig a little deeper. Okay. Action. Here's your package. Mm. Okay. No? No. Could you maybe give me struggling to deliver this package? That this package is life or death. This package is whether you eat tonight or you don't eat. And... Okay. Here's your package. Take it. No, no, no. I feel like I wasn't into that part. No, no, you weren't. Okay. Mm. Could you maybe give it to me a little more street? Street? I'm, I'm sorry? Yeah, a little more like on the come up. You know what I mean? From the hood. Um, maybe something a little more, you know, vibey. That seems like a lot for a male person. You know? No, no, that's exactly what this male person a would do. Street vibey. Yes, uh. like a vibe from the streets. <laughs> An urban streets 
vibe. Urban streets vibe. A um, package delivery. Okay. Um. Here's your package. How, mm, I don't no. Like that. No, that was terrible. Oh, I'm sorry. That was terrible. Okay. I, I like you, though, so I really want to give you a, a chance. Okay. Um, could you give it to me hood, you know? I'm sorry. Like, your baby daddy needs this package to be delivered because it has drugs in it. And if the drugs don't get delivered, then somebody's going to kill your baby daddy. And action. Uh, here's your package! Ooh. Hold on. Uh, I don't even know where this came wow. from. Wow. Wow. Um, uh, I like that you brought your own gun. <laughs> you know? That I, was cool. I honestly don't even know where it came from. Yeah, I was scared. But, okay. Um, that's the right direction. Could you just maybe do it like a little blacker? Black? I don't know. Blacker? I don't understand. What does race have to do with delivering mail? It's how the characters process. Just as black as you can give me. Like the blackest. The way like your your culture of people, your race would deliver a package. I think they would just deliver the package. I don't I don't think that they would do it any differently. I'm so confused. I think that maybe if you dig into like your past and your history of like having to give something to someone, that would help you. And action. Like what? I'm mm -hmm. I'm I don't understand. Okay. Uh, do you, would you like some guidance? Like maybe yes. Okay. Please. Um, give me the package. Like this audition is to be the next Aunt Jemima. Okay. So like you know the Pearl Mills Company. We want it to be like you want to be the face of the Pearl Mills Company, but delivering grits and 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 pancakes and things like that instead of packages. But put that energy into it. and action. Here's your package. Mm, no, okay. Um, okay, one more direction. One more. And then I, I guess... I don't see what any of this had to do with delivering a package. Okay, so do you want? Do you, would you like to try one last time and then... I, I guess. Okay, so... so I, I can't get the, the lead? I feel like I could... No, you're, you don't understand. This is the lead package giver. Okay. Okay? You're the only one in the film that'll have this title. So you're the lead... Pa Just, okay, one more, one more suggestion for you. Uh, do it as though you were in the White House and mm, President Jefferson has just let you know that he would like you to come and be inside of the house instead of outside with your family. And they're going to stay, but you're going to come in, okay? And, and you're going to tell him, and here's the package that I was supposed to bring to you from the mail because now I work in the house and I'm happy and I want to stay in the house. So go ahead and give it to me like that. And action. Here's your package, Mr. Jefferson, sir. Oh, what was that? Perfect. No. That was perfect. Oh, my no. God. We, this is, we found her. No. We found her. Oh, my God. Thank you. Next. Oh, my God. It was riveting. And that's it. That's the season finale of the Jasmine Show. We did it, guys. We made it a whole season. Me, Jasmine Carter, and you, loyal Hello? view. Mina, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Uh, I, you, I was in. A, I was looking at your video. You just need the intros and exits and stuff. I was trying. Are you doing my intros and outros to the Jasmine show? No, no, no. I was. Uh, I was just. I was checking. So we should go ahead. Continue with doing what you was doing. Um. Anyways, thank you guys for watching my show. This is Jasmine Carter, the Excuse professional. Excuse me. Hold on. I'm Jasmine Carter. This. This is Jasmine Carter, the professional uh, actress, writer, and creator. And uh, thank you for watching our, our her show. Our show. Her show. My show. Thank you so much for tuning in for season two of The Jasmine Show. As always, if you like what you saw, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Please get some merch so we can actually get a look-alike that looks like me for the next time you want to do my biopic. Um, so, um, thank you for watching. We love you. I was going to say all Okay, go ahead. Things. Get my merch. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Why would you be me? What? You're not supposed to be me. I wasn't. I was just doing what. No, I was getting I was ready. I, I was in the shower. I was just getting. I'm still getting ready. Okay, well, can't I? I was just helping out. You look like you needed some help. I didn't need no you help. You said you was under budget. I am under budget, money. but that don't mean that you, you can like pretend to be me. You don't even look like me. I'm All that hair. Then I'm But that helps. But you know what? Oh, it's still on. Bye. <laughs> Hell.
Thank you so much for watching my video. I want to tell you about the merch that I have. I have Lonely Bitch Clinic hoodies, t-shirts, stickers available, available in multiple colors. You can see the front, you can see the back. I have Lonely Inward Clinic t-shirts, hoodies, crew necks, everything available in multiple colors, front and back. It's beautiful. I'm offering free shipping all March by using promo code Jazz Daddy. You can see the t-shirts. We have multiple hoodies. Look at it. Stickers amazing get you some a mask stop being a whole mask we have stopped being a whole fanny packs and we have new merch we have my ex's tears mugs you see the front you see the back bow just your ordinary bag but hold on wait a second boom look at that look at that you know why i came here mm -hmm. i am woman enough hoodies boom look at the back stop telling me how to live go ahead and get yours link in the description